Hi. <laughs> How are we doing? I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you the same question you asked me. Yeah. I'm throwing it right back at you. I didn't even answer it when you asked me. I'm just gonna <laughs> throw it right back at you. I noticed you didn't. Say uh, burnout level of both poker and YouTube. First uh, of all, first of all, welcome to Las Vegas. Thank you. Officially a Las Vegas resident. Thank you, sir. Burnout level of poker is low because I haven't played in uh, many a many months. So I'm kind of itching to play poker to get back out there in the felt. Um, skill level has probably diminished greatly because I can barely remember the hand rankings. For me, it's like when I, when I haven't played in a long time, in some ways I play better because I'm more, I'm less anxious. Like I feel like I yeah. play less than that. Yeah. I just can kind of settle. I think when I go back, I'm going to be very cognizant that everything feels new and there's almost like a nervousness to it. Not as bad as like the first time I played live where I was like scared shitless but uh, I'm almost a little there's like a tinge of nervousness uh, to sit down the first time like going out of the stakes huh like any stake it doesn't matter you can be nervous or, or oh I'm gonna play the smallest stake in the room for sure really like whatever that stake is you think you'll be nervous playing one two I hope so okay like if I'm not nervous then something's wrong because I like like inside I feel like things have like left me behind even though I've been studying I've been doing all that stuff I haven't had like the live reps so like I don't know I just feel off I might play 2-5 I mean you know like everyone is always off when they're playing <laughs> maybe they're playing yeah, I, suits, yeah, I, yeah I might play 2-5 just for that reason uh, maybe if I play 2-5 I'll feel like I have a little bit more skin in the game if I play 1-2 I might just blast off yeah so uh so, uh, not... I'm itching to play poker. When we get back to the vlog. The vlog, I'm even... I'm looking more forward than to doing the vlog than I am to poker. A hundred percent. So, uh, so like there's, is there like a backlog of creative juice? Like there's a ton of stuff flowing around in my head. You have like a bunch of ideas? A ton of ideas. I have... A bunch of ideas flowing in my head. I have a bunch of ideas that are like half started. Um, but the creative side of me is definitely feeling hamstrung. The Pandora going on. <laughs> uh, I mean, how often do you have like uh, different ideas and stuff that you don't bring into fruition? Is that kind of like an ongoing thing? Or, you, or is it like way more so now than Sometimes they just take a little longer to come to fruition. Like, for instance, like I, I had that idea of doing the vlog like cartoon style a long time ago. Like, because <clears throat> my favorite poker content, my favorite poker content to this day is, shit, what did I just forget what it's called? What was the cartoon? The, uh, the micros. Yeah. The micros. Yeah. Micro yeah. yeah. The micros. And I really wanted to do something animated. Um, and I tried a bunch of different animation software for a good six seven months before I found something that actually works and was pliable enough to use for poker a poker vlog so, um, um, do we uh, I don't want to ruin it for the people when the vlog comes back or whatever kind of content comes back yeah. do you think it's going to be that again or will it be traditional Jimmy Burton style um, or do you, you don't have to say it, it will to say. I, I'm working on something that's a little bit different like it will you'll recognize it as a poker vlog but I think I'm I got a different angle I'm trying to work on it. You know, like, I tried to do the comic book thing for a while. Well, I started off basically just emulating Trooper, because that's all I knew. Um, and I think that's what a lot of vloggers do in all spaces. They find somebody they like, and then they just imitate them until they kind of come into their own voice. I don't know if I've ever come into my own voice. You've come in, yeah, you've come. I just rip people off and just stick You come into your own voice. So then you come into your own voice and then you create something a little that's like more you. And for me, that was definitely uh, when I started doing like the comic booky type things with the pages turning or whatever. Um, of all the my little style changes, I think that was probably my favorite. The comic uh, book thing? Yeah, the comic book thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think I, yeah, so, but what I have flowing around in my head, I think I might like a little bit better, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. It, it could change. It could be something completely different tomorrow. So, uh, okay. Well, we'll just leave it at that. I was going to ask you more questions about whether the, uh, what? Like the animation thing will come back. Or yes. Okay. 
Yeah, I paid a, a lot for that software. So oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How much? Uh, the fact I think it's if I remember correctly, it's either one thousand or twelve hundred dollars per year for the license. So it's not even like I own it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You gotta renew it. I gotta renew it. And I think I made two videos. Do they have a cheap version where it's got the watermark on it? Uh, they have a cheaper version, but you don't get like all the, like you can't customize things as much with the cheaper version. You can't create like different characters. You can't, like it's, it's just, it's cheap. So I went big and then I created two blogs and then I never picked it up again. So I got some things in the backlog. Definitely getting my money's worth. The blog I'm working on right now, which is pretty much just covering my move from Missouri to Vegas, and there's no poker in it because I haven't played. Um, it uses some of it, uses the, some of the animation. I don't know. I uh, I leaned really heavily into the the Pandora. Like I took advantage. Like to uh, like to sort your life out. Yeah, I mean just to get things straight, to get the diet straight. Um, mixed in fasting, mixed in working out, walking. Um, I mean, a lot of people look the other way during that. Yeah, like I, I, yeah, I totally leaned into. You know what? It's time to get some get shit together. Um, but uh, if I had to guess, I, I don't know. 20, 30 pounds, maybe. I don't know. It's hard, you know, because I like I'm working out, so I put on muscle on. So. What's the uh what was like the game plan for doing that? Was there a certain like... Uh... Um, I wanted... I've always been very interested in fasting. I've never... I'd never tried it. So you did it? So I, so I, I got into a routine of... First I started intermittent fasting, like... With like an eight hour eating window, 16 hours not eating. And then uh, I went to like five by two where I was eating five days a week and not eating two days a week, like for 20, so like fasting 24 hours, um, drinking a ton of water, and I just got my diet right. Like I just, I went with something that I was calling like pantry free living, where I was trying to eat almost nothing out of a pantry. Like I just came up, it's like if it can live in a can or in a box in your pantry for a year, it can't be healthy. So I was just trying to eat everything fresh, cooking a lot, you know, just basic stuff. Like nothing fancy. What do you, what do you think of Dan Bilzerian? <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> turn, is it a hard left turn? Uh, what do I think of Dan Bilzerian? Is this vlog for kids? Are you gonna check the little thing saying it's not for kids? You can say whatever. You want. Like I just don't. I don't. I don't. I don't get anybody that has, like, I just don't understand it. I don't understand his take on things. I don't understand. And this isn't even coming from somebody that loves Vanessa Kay, like I do. Like, I just don't understand his treatment of women in general. Like, I just, I, I, I don't get it. Not a fan. Not a fan of Dan Blazarian. And it's funny because I've never played on GG, but me not being a fan of him makes me kind of, like, passively not a fan of GG. Like, I'm opposite of what they wanted to happen. Yeah. I think GG has done a bunch sort of uh, really interesting things. Like the software is great. They signed a bunch of content creators, which is great. It's great. Obviously, we're uh, big fans of that. Um, I think they like went to the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, that's as, as, in terms of like coming up with a good, idea, like an interesting idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like let's find somebody. Like, I, yeah, I just I just don't get it. Like all the all the other good signings with Fedor and Negreanu and <clears throat> Kevin Martin, and like they recently just signed Sasha. Like, but Rosarian, like it's just so out of left field. Like they might as well they could have signed Jose Canseco for cheaper. Like I don't, like I just don't get it. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't understand it. Uh, how many throw in a match? What's that? Are you taking how many throw in a match? Uh, in that format, let's I say, think... Let's say even odds, and then let's say how many uh, plus one... How many? How many? How many plus one? Victory? Yeah. I think in that, I think heads up no limit coming off of his, uh, his learning experience with Doug Polk that Negreanu is probably a better player. I think help. Well, it's not even probably. Heads up, he's probably. Well, yeah, he's probably a better player. But I think uh, in that format, in the crazy amount of variance that uh, is heads up, I think Helmuth will navigate it better. So I take Helmuth, even though I love you know Negron. That's 
That's probably enough questions for you. Well, wait, wait, wait. Well, who would you take? Uh, it's the same answer. Um, I guess, like, given odds for how many? Mm -hmm. Just, like, he has, like, an insane record in those sorts of heads-up sitting games right. with increasing blinds. Uh, there's probably nobody who has a better record for that sort of thing. It's not even close. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like he's played all those matches and hit the NBC thing. Right. And then done all sorts of other challenges, but the same, similar kind of format. Uh, but yeah, like we, uh, we get like a lot of hands with, with static lines. And he's got white magic. I know. Yeah. So. It's, it's tough. Um, that's about it. <laughs> Cheers.